Hello everyone and welcome back to Revs and Reviews. Today I have a 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Big Bend. Since this is your Big Bend trim, it is your more of a upgraded trim from that base model. Although there is no base model this year. The next trim up from this trim is going to be your Heritage Edition, which looks like this one right here. Now I have been a fan of the Bronco Sport since it has came out. Overall, the Bronco Sport is priced just under $35,000. This one is an Oxford White, giving you a 1.5 liter EcoBoost, EcoBoost engine, giving you 25 in the city and 29 on the highway. This does, this does tow around 2,200 pounds of this one. Also has 181 horsepower and 190 pounds feet of torque, which is pretty good for a Bronco Sport. Now, as you can see with the Bronco Sports, this did come out in 2021. This is your 2024, but across the dash, you are getting that Bronco design with those big muscular headlights, that big white Bronco badge, no Ford, ba Ford badge. It would have been cool if there was like a Ford emblem there that was blacked out, but overall a really sporty front end. This one does have a sunroof on top, so you are going to get a partial black roof up there. Now on the side, you are gonna get these rims. They are that like carbonized gray color. It's a good looking color in my opinion. I do like the emblems. You will see Bronco emblems. And this one does have your gray on black stripe down the side. Now, one thing about the Bronco Sport here is this does represent that older body style Ford Escape, giving you this little bump in the roof that gives you more headroom in the back as well as more trunk space. Now across the back here, you're gonna see that Ford Escape design from 2008 to 2012. Now on the back here, you are gonna get full halogen rear tail lights. This part right here is LED, but that is a halogen turn signal and a halogen reverse light. You are also gonna get parking sensors in the back and front, a white, a fully white Bronco Sport badge, as well as your license plate lights being in the side, which I do think is kind of cool. And there's a unique way to open the trunk here, and I really do like that Ford emblem right there. Now, this is priced just under $35,000, which isn't a huge gap from the Ford Escape, as the Ford Escape is a little bit cheaper. Now, overall, I feel like for $35,000, this is a really nice SUV, and personally, this is one of my dream cars. I really do like the Bronco, and I cannot believe I haven't reviewed a Bronco Sport or a Bronco sooner, because I am a huge fan of the Bronco. I have hats, I have car floor mat coasters, and I really just really do like the 24 Bronco Sport. And of course, I really do like the limited edition, heritage edition. I also really do like the other trim levels. I really do like, if we take a look at this one, I like all the different packages you can get. I also really do like the fact that this year there is a new desert sand color, similar to the color of that Jeep. And there is a package for the Big Bend, I believe, that you can fully black this out with black rims and black accenting all over the vehicle. But I mean, for $35,000, this vehicle is really sporty. And for the people who love the older body style Ford Escape, this could be the vehicle for you. Now let's hop on inside. And there is keyless entry on the driver and passenger door. It's not on all four doors though. One other thing is the mirrors. You do get blind spot monitors. And these do remind me of the Ford Escape. I really do like how the mirrors are plastic. And all that, that like wrap around window does look really nice. And the rear windows are tinted as well as the trunk area windows. So let's hop on inside and see what is so special about the inside of this Bronco Sport. Here on the door panel to the Bronco Sport, you are going to get this plastic material for the door panel. This like silverish grayish accenting with this lighter black color it's like almost like a gray. I really do like the plastic door handles. Usually I like the metal ones, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. I do also like the lock and unlock buttons. You do have a bigger cup holder down here. You could probably fit a Stanley cup in here. I'm not for certain. And then you also do have that standard audio system. Now, another thing I really do not like 
I mean, this is the first thing I do not like, is going to be this. This is really small, and honestly, I have a bigger arm, so I'd like some extra arm rest space and extra space to adjust my mirrors. Now to the seats here, you are gonna get full cloth seats. There is an upgrade for leather seats, but these seats are that black cloth seat with this very nice grayish texture design down your back onto the main part of the seat. You also do get white stitching, a power seat for the driver, and a manual seat for the passenger. Now let's hop into the infotainment and the technology specs here in the Bronco Sport and see what it's all about. Now here on the inside of the Bronco Sport, you're gonna get those vents that are shaped like V's for Bronco. You're also gonna get the curtain um, air vents, which I do like because in the Ford Escape, you do not get those. Up here, I did wanna mention you do get um, a home link for your garage controls and to your driver display. You're gonna get that Bronco badge. This steering wheel is straight out of the Ford Escape, which I do like because I really do like the Ford Escape. Now, you are going to get your standard um, cruise control, lane keeping assist, and your adaptive cruise control with your volume knobs, and then over here is your phone connection to control this. Now, the dash here, I do want to talk about, that warning is just for my seatbelt. Um, here, you are going to get those special numbers that represent the Bronco, and this is not a full digital display. It may look like it, but that little square in the middle is the only display that is digital. Now, you're not getting that full display like the upgraded models, but there is a technology pack that you can get to make that a full digital display. Now, here on the infotainment, you're not, this is the only screen you're going to get. I believe this is an 8-inch touch screen. It is the standard size screen that is here on the Bronco, but hopefully with the 2025 Bronco, I did see that there was a leak of the redesign. So hopefully we'll be getting a bigger display, something more like the newer Ford Escape. Now you are gonna notice the B for Bronco on both sides of the vents, and then you're gonna get that really cool looking Bronco um, startup button. You are also gonna get this down here. There's not a wireless charger up here, but you do get this really nice texture in there, and honestly, it's a great place to put the rest of your phones and all that good stuff. Now, today in Wisconsin, it is 55 degrees out, and it is kind of hot out, and I'm actually kind of happy about it. Let me know down in the comments down below what the temp temperature is down by y'all. Now, you do have the auto start feature, so if I put my foot on the brake here, it'll say it is activated. So when you have your foot on the brake for a couple of seconds, I believe it is when you are in drive, the vehicle will shut off to save gas. Now down here, you are going to get a wireless phone charger as well as another place to put your phone, a USB-C, a USB, and a 12 volt. Heated seats, no dual climate, but I do like the fact that you do get the heated seats. Your different physical buttons, I really do like seeing physical but buttons in vehicles but you do get that wireless charger in that extra spot. Now, right here, I really do like that silver color, and I really do like the rotary dial here that does have a um, design on it to where when you do grab it, it does have like, it almost feels like a Bronco. That sounds stupid, but like, it really does feel like that should belong in a Bronco Sport. Now, you do have the parking brake as well as auto hold, goat modes, which we will go over, two cup holders as well as a little space right there these probably are not big enough for a stanley cup but let's go over the different drive modes now to, you have to switch turn the dial here they are called goat modes so you're going to get the normal mode the eco mode the sport mode the slippery mode and the sand mode and i really do like the variety of different drive modes as this is a smaller display, and I would have liked to see different drive modes on the Ford Escape. Now, this is customizable, just not the theme, of course. Um, you can scroll down, you can see your driver assistance, it'll tell you the speed limit. As you can see, we are face facing west with the navigation screen. It'll show you the radio station, the phone connection, your information, 
your trip timer and back to the speedometer. Now, I will have to say here on the display, the sound system does sound really nice and it does sound pretty good for not being the upgraded Bose audio system or anything like that. Now, here on the screen, you are going to get wire wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, Sirius XM, and a non-paid subscription for navigation. You do not have to pay a subscription for the navigation at all. Now with the navigation screen, you can have your different controls. You can save your home on here. And then of course you will get different apps. You got the fine mobile apps for like Apple Music and all that, the Sirius XM and the phone connection. Now overall, you can connect the Ford Pass app with this um, to control the vehicle from your phone. So that was an upgrade. You also have your different clock settings, um, radios, sound, Bluetooth, phone, vehicle settings here. I do want to tap that, cancel that. Um, it is a little bit hard to touch because there is a film on here for the owner that buys this vehicle next. Now we can scroll over. The vehicle does come with Wi-Fi. You do have the mobile apps, of course. You do have the voice control, which the lady for the voice control is really annoying. Coming from a Ford driver, the little button's right here and we'll take a listen to her. Okay, so maybe I drive an older Ford. We have a 2018 Ford Escape. And when you press the voice assistance button, it comes up with like a guitar sound. And it should be like, please say a command. And it's really annoying, but I do like the fact that they did upgrade her to not speak anymore. Now you can press the home button and you will get the widgets. These are the only customizable widgets you will get. Which, I mean, they don't look bad, but I would have liked to see more customizable widgets. Now, up on the dash, you could see me touching it up here. Leather up here, no speakers up there, but this is all hard plastic. And then there's that leather feel, like on the door panel, up here as well. And then, to open your glove box, it is a weird handle, but it is pretty cool. Um, in here, you're just going to have your owner's manual, and that's about it. And I believe there is a light in there. So let's hop on in the back seats of the Bronco Sport here and see what is in the back seats and what is so special. And we'll see if a six feet tall person can fit back there. I also did want to mention you do get a one panel sunroof and something new with the newer Bronco Sports is it is a button to close the shade instead of having that handle you would originally press to open it. Now we are going to fold that panel back and you do not have to hold it obviously, but I really do like the fact that it is a um, button to open and close that panel. And to open the sunroof, you can of course just vent it or you can of course open it up all the way. I am gonna open the sunroof just a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll open it all the way. And I believe you can take, oh, you cannot take the shade, otherwise the shade will close the sunroof. Now, I really do like how open it is, and of course you get that little protector up there. Overall, very nice. One last thing before we do get into the back seats, the key does say Bronco, and before, I believe on the 2021, it was just the Ford logo, so I do like to see that change. Now, this is where stuff gets a little bit disappointing. There is an upgrade that does cost extra to get remote start, but you just have your lock unlock and your alarm button but i do like how you do got the smart key and not a physical physical key now we're actually going to hop into the back seats now well, we're here at the back seats of the 2024 ford bronco sport and one thing i will have to say is these doors do not open a ton so if you are a bigger person it might be a little bit difficult to get back in there so same textures on the door panel that like plastic leather with that gray accenting the plastic door handle and this does not feel cheap at all. It does feel really nice. You do get a leather armrest as well as a as well as a window um switch. Sorry about that. There was an announcement. Um you also do have a cup holder, maybe not big enough for a Stanley, but then you also do get that one speaker down there. Now, here on the back seats, don't mind my post-it notes back there. You are going to get a cup holder that you can fold down which looks really nice. And then them same um, gray cloth seats um, with that gray uh, vertical design going down. Now back here, these seats 
feel like the ones up front, but I'm going to be honest, this texture feels like an older Chevy Equinox, in my opinion, if you've ever sat in those. But I will give Ford the credit for having these seats be way more comfortable than a Chevy Equinox, obviously. With getting out of the Bronco Sport, it was pretty easy. It wasn't too difficult. It was like, just like being in my personal car, my Ford Escape, which is being serviced here at Gordy Boucher Ford Lincoln in West Bend, Wisconsin. I really do recommend coming to get your vehicle serviced here. They have some great staff members, and I would like to thank them for letting me come out and review this beautiful Bronco Sport. Now, on to the back of the Bronco Sport, you're going to have two different functions here, two different buttons. So the door button is right here. It is not a power lift gate because, however, this is a Bronco. You are not going to get full weather floor mats, but you do have that rear trunk protector um, you also do have this other cover here, and then your carpeted floor mats as well. And I actually do take that back. You do get all-weather floor mats. I was wondering what that was. But yes, you do get all-weather floor mats. And under here, there's your spare tire. Plastic bumper, which I like because this doesn't scratch easily. Now, you do have different accessories you can buy from Ford. And you do have a 12 volt back here and this button over here turns on the lights for camping and of course you will notice the bronco emblems all across the back right here you could put a gallon of milk and same over here now those rear camping lights i really do like them because they are fully movable as you can see they are movable and they are visible and i also just wanted to Look at how big this door is. It almost reminds me of a Ford Flex because of how wide the door is and how big the door is. But honestly, when closing it, it is very light. Now you do get a lot of cargo space back there. And this button right here will open the glass like the older Ford Escapes, which I do like. Now, honestly, back here, this would be great for just chilling. Easy access if you had a cooler back here. And with those seats folded down, you're going to get a ton of cargo room back there. Now we'll close this up. It does close a little bit hard, but honestly, for just under $35,000, I'm not just saying this because it is my dream car, but personally, I would buy this vehicle as it's a 2024. It's an SUV. It represents the older body style Ford Escape. You also get special offers here at Gordy Boucher with this vehicle. And overall, for $35,000, I would take this over a Ford Escape. Now this right here is just mud. That is not damaged. This vehicle hasn't been washed yet. Now let me know what you guys think about the Bronco Sport. Is it worth $35,000 with the no full digital display? Or should you wait till 2025 for a refreshed model? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me your overall opinion on the Bronco Sport and let me know, is it worth buying? Because, I mean, it does have a sunroof, but there's no leather seats. Let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, you could compare this to a Jeep Cherokee with more features, but let me know what car you guys would compare this to. And I will see you guys in the next review and make sure to visit RevsAndReviews.com to see a full written review on this 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Big Bend. Now, before I end this video, a huge thank you to Gordy Boucher, Ford Lincoln, and West Bend, Wisconsin for letting me come out and review this 2024 Ford Bronco Big Bend. I hope all of you have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next review.